If you're lucky enough to be the owner of a drone, you can take some fantastic footage and you could post it online to your social media if you like. And we've seen a lot of these. And the footage goes something along these lines. But you can make that footage look much better by just adding a few simple things. I've learned over the past few years, as I've been making videos on my channel, how to make my videos a bit more interesting and look a bit better. And I, I thought I'd share that with anyone that's interested in finding out a way to maybe make their videos look a wee bit more interesting. So what you could do to your in initial footage, simply add a bit of music. better when you're out of your location. Instead of just flying the one path, fly the same path from different angles, different heights, focusing more on different features or different areas of the same part of the flight that you're flying, like this. To walk the ground along the flight they are flying, why don't you put your drone up and use it as a second camera, having it track you using, if it's a Mini 3 Pro, the built-in tracking feature, or if it's a Mini 2, using Maven or maybe Litchi to get it to track you as you walk along. You can switch angles, put it to the front if you like, using it as another cameraman and giving you another interesting angle that you could even talk to and make your video quite interesting. A bit like a documentary maybe you might see on a Sunday afternoon. It's that one called the one about the fields and the farms and the grass and the greenery. <laughs> I forget what it's called. But you know what I'm talking about. So, these are the things that you can do to enhance your video, but there's more. More than just this. You can add sound effects. All you have to do is stop talking for a wee while hard for me to do sometimes and record the ambient sounds round about the area that you're filming like this river for example If for some reason you can't record the ambient sounds, there are places you can download them online and use them for free. I use Artlist for a lot of my sound effects and for some of my music too, and I find that the quality is pretty good. But you can do other things as well. Like if you wanted to add a commentary about the area, about the location that you're filming, to give it a bit more context, rather than just showing a beautiful bit of footage, you can let your viewers know a little bit more about the area, about what you're filming. That might add a bit of interest. Something along these lines. This is the River Nith. The River Nith is formed from the hills in East Ayrshire, formed for the wee springs and flowing down the hillsides to form a burn, then a stream, then a river. And this river flows all the way from the hills of East Ayrshire, right down south, past Dumfries, and right on into the Irish Sea. It runs alongside the railway line here, and this railway line runs from Glasgow Central all the way down to Carlisle, and then from Carlisle disperses itself all the way throughout the whole of England and Wales. 
This is when you could add in some B-roll. Google Earth and Google Maps, they could be quite good for adding in B-roll to show you more about the location that you're flying in and give your viewers even more context. This is the River Nith. The River Nith is formed from the hills in East Ayrshire, formed for the wee springs and flowing down the hillsides to form a burn, then a stream, then a river. And this river flows all the way from the hills of East Ayrshire, right down south, past Dumfries, and right on into the Irish Sea. It runs alongside the railway line here, and this railway line runs from Glasgow Central all the way down to Carlisle, and then from Carlisle disperses itself all the way throughout the whole of England and Wales. Once you start cutting all of these different things that you've done together in your editing suite, whatever your editor is, then it can make the initial video that you made of just flying over a nice scenic area come to life. And it becomes then a much more interesting video. So I hope that was useful for you. And I hope the next time you take your drone out to get some footage, you maybe add a couple of these wee ideas in. You don't need to try and add all of them in at one time. It took me a good couple of years to start to start to add all of these different things together. To, and I don't use them all in every single video, as I'm sure you know. But these are some of the things that you can add in just to make your video a bit more entertaining. So if you like this, if you found it useful, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> At the very least. And if you haven't even subscribed to the channel, why not? Just click on that wee subscribe button, it'll no do you any harm and it'll no cost you any money. If you do want to pay a bit of money and help to support the channel, you could always become a member, get a few wee extra perks. Anyway, enough with the self-promotion. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.